Welcome back to Regular Guys Outdoors. I'm Chris. I got a product review for you today and it is a rechargeable hand warmer. A few months ago I was contacted by a company that said, hey, would you be interested in reviewing this product? And at first I declined um, just because I don't have a, a ton of viewership. I'm not a commercial person or a business person. Not very good at that stuff. Um, and he came back and said, yeah, I understand. Um, you know you should think about it so I thought about it because the product intrigued me um, so I'm doing it here we are now the thing that intrigued me about this product is my hands and feet don't work and haven't worked for the last six or seven years they just do not produce their own heat so if I don't have a heat source on them it doesn't really matter how big my boots are how big my wool socks are how big my gloves are except maybe mittens mittens you work pretty good but then you can't do anything in a mitten they're just mittens you're like this I can't do nothing you don't even have opposable thumbs and because of that I burn through a pile of these type things whether it's the hot hands heat factory uh, I think there's another one but I burn through those things like crazy um, and so I thought well maybe this in the long run would actually save me some money I've recorded this intro once before, but the video came out like garbage. So here we are again. It is a rechargeable hand warmer. It comes in a box. It includes a charger, and this is a USB-C, I do believe. I call it the GoPro cable because it's what recharges my GoPros. And the instruction manual. It's real basic because it's real simple. It's got... Uh, one button and two ports so the one on the side is a is for the charger it's how you charge this, this battery and then the one over here is just kind of like any other battery pack where you can plug in a USB cable and you can actually ch charge your cell phone with this as well I can also charge a GoPro off of this if I need to so the first test I did with it was I charged it up and I stuck it in this glass vase and took up some of the airspace with the packing material, shoved it up in there, put it in there with a thermometer and a timer to see how long it would stay warm. And it stayed warm a good long time. So let's go to some notes I have on my phone here. I've, char I've discharged this 17 times. So I've charged and discharged it. When I'm charging it from my car, down here it takes about 5 hours to charge from the car and that's off the cigarette lighter off of another thing, off of an, another thing, another little port. So that's about five hours from the car. It takes a bit less than that, about an hour, hour and a half less than that from my wall socket. So three and a half to four hours on the wall socket. When I was traveling out to North Carolina, I, I turned it on low, stuck it in my shoe in the car from 2100 to 0615. So that's nine hours, 15 minutes. And it was still warm at 6 o'clock when I put my hand in there after I woke up. Inside the car temperature at that time was 35-ish degrees. The outside temperature was about 27. Um, so it wasn't freezing inside the car, but it was pretty darn cold. Um, the next night, I did it at 2105 to 630. And I just laid the heater right on the console between my two front seats didn't put it in the shoe or anything and so it was exposed to that low 30s temperature overnight and uh, after that uh, what's that nine hours 25 minute stretch it was cool to the touch at that time so you know I think this is a lithium-ion battery I'm not hundred percent I really don't know but you know a lithium-ion battery the cold kills it like my GoPros they die. If it's 30 degrees, them jokers die quick. Your iPhone dies quick. Um, we'll get to the iPhone dying quick with the hand warmer here in a second. Not dying quick, but a way to save your phone from dying with the hand warmer. So the other note here is I left this on the dash overnight of Blaze, and it got down to 7 degrees overnight, and it still ran on high for 4 hours, even though it was exposed to that really cold temperature overnight. So... That's a pretty good thing to, to know.
pretty good function or uh, pretty good usefulness there. So I've been using it in my waders in North Carolina when we were duck hunting. It's December 23rd. Like I said, my fingers don't work. So if it's below 40, my fingers are cold. They're just cold. If it's below 30, they kind of hurt. So in shooting and needing to load your duck gun, I can carry a light glove on my right hand, put this in the waiter pocket up here. Thin glove for shooting and loading. Hand warmer in the pouch. Just hang out right there. In Missouri, it got down to 10 degrees when we were deer hunting, Jeff and I and Bart, around Bart's place. And I would put that bad boy in one of these mitts instead of having to have these bad boys because these get expensive. This is the body warmer size. These are, what, $1.50 or $2 a piece? Those get pretty expensive to use. So having this bad boy in there, you know, put it on medium works good. High is almost too, too hot to touch. Low is good for a mild day. So medium is kind of your best all around go. Now, going back to the iPhone thing, this will charge your iPhone or phone, charge your phone with the USB port while being turned on to heater mode. So in that cold, you can have your cable hooked up to this, have it on heater so your hands are getting warm, and have your phone plugged into it, put it all inside your muff here, and now your phone is staying warm so the battery is not dying, and you can charge it. If you don't need to charge it, then your battery is still staying warm on your phone. So I use Onyx all the time, so I really need my phone as my mapping system and GPS. So having that not die in the cold is pretty important to me. So I've used it duck hunting and deer hunting. I also could see a use for this turkey hunting, especially since it's camouflage. It's not like a blue one or a white one or a red one or pink. You're set up on a tree, you're calling. It's a cool morning. Typically it gets warmer in the afternoon and during turkey season. It's pretty mild weather, even sometimes hot weather in turkey season. But sometimes those mornings are 30 degrees or even below 30 degrees. And I don't want to carry big gloves and little gloves. So I usually just have to deal with cold, sometimes hurting hands, turkey hunting. This could solve that. And if I was sitting there and I got some action, something's going on, and I had to just kind of drop this on the side or whatever, drop it on the ground, it, it's not going to give away, you know, it's not obviously, it's not this sitting next to you, it, you know. It's camouflage. So down to the nitty gritty. Link below to hunterswholesale.net. That is where you can get this. And if you use the coupon code, this yes, this is a coupon code, my first one, RGO10 will get you 10% off the hand warmer. And, and going back to turkey season, it is turkey season shortly. And the prices I saw on their website for the Indian Creek Black Diamond Strike Turkey Chokes is cheaper than what I paid for the two that I got. Do I have, in fact, one is on this gun right here, next to me just off camera. It's the uh, one on the Browning A5. So that's the 12 gauge one. And uh, so it's cheaper than what I paid for this one and the one that I think goes on my Winchester SXP 20 gauge. So add the 5% for site-wide. RGO5 will get you 5% off the items site-wide on hunterswholesale.net. So check them out. Use the link below. And in full disclosure, those coupon codes will generate some income for RGO, which I can then use to continue to do the giveaways I like to do, especially prior to turkey season. Turkey calls, turkey chokes. So as we wrap this up, I'm going to give this away. It's going to be gone before the end of duck season here in Colorado, and so I'm going to miss this. I've been using it down on the river, and uh, actually today, this morning, used it. 
I brought steak bites with me. Well, I'll show you the clip. So before I left for that spot in stock, I dropped my hand warmer, put it on high in my bag with some beef steak bites that I brought along. And so now, one, one side's warm, one side's probably room temperature. How awesome is that? That's how I used this this morning because with the running around I was doing, I wasn't, I didn't have a chance to get cold really. So I used this to heat up my steak. Honor system here to enter, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and then leave a comment saying you want to be entered in to win this. 48 hours after this video post, I'm going to cut off the entries and we will uh, we'll do a roll of the die for who gets this bad boy. And uh, you'll have to contact me through Facebook Messenger or Twitter Messenger or, or something along those lines. Um, or even email me and I'll discuss that later. But I will do the drawing at the end of one of the hunt videos that are upcoming. So stay tuned for that and I'll have it in the title um, like hand warmer giveaway or something down there so you know which one it is. So if you entered, subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when the next video comes out because that's going to be the one that I do the giveaway on this. So hope you like this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down there and as always, thanks for watching.